Tiger TV. Hi everyone, I'm Abby Schmidt. And I'm Addison Wyman. So Addison, did you know that if you were born in January, your birthstone is garnet? Really? What color is it? I think it's a red gemstone. Let's move on to birthdays and shout outs. Hello and welcome to birthdays and shout outs. On Monday we have a uh, Nevea Perez and on Sunday we have Kayla Demaria. Now I'll capture some amazing shout outs. Olivia Reddick would like to shout out Addison Sutherland for being kind and nice and always making others smile. Olivia Gillen wanted to shout out Aubrey Rabel for being very respectful to her teachers and peers and always striving to do the best in all she does. Our last shout out is for Walker Ravenberg. He is kind to all of his peers and very helpful when they need it. An important reminder to have your ideas featured on the show, look out for a purple and gold box in your pod. Grab a form from above the box, fill it out, and put it in the shout out box. Watch the show to see your shout out. You'll have to put your name on the paper, but you can choose to stay anonymous. You can also shout out teachers. It does not have to be a student. It can be anyone you think deserves it. Now for the joke of the week. What does a clam do on his birthday page? I don't know. What do they do? They have a celebration. <laughs> Let's keep up the good work, Tigers. Don't forget to shout out the deserving people in our school. In every pod, there's a purple and gold shout out box. Fill in the form on top, either anonymously or with recognition, and drop it into the box. We really appreciate the shout outs, and so do all of our viewers. Hey, Addison, do you know what else all the students at Spencer Middle School appreciate? The teachers? No, the lunch. Oh man, the menu looks so good. On Monday, we are having the pork tenderloin. I hope the line will move faster than the one at the fair. Ketchup, mustard, applesauce, and broccoli. Then Tuesday, chicken nuggets, barbecue sauce, mashed potatoes, bread and butter, pineapples, and carrots. Cooked, so all the flavorful dirt is gone. No way. On Wednesday, we will eat hot ham and cheese, corn and peaches. Gotta have one of every type of food in your lunch. On Thursday, we will enjoy a delicious soft shell taco with all the fixings. Cheese, lettuce, salsa, refried beans, and wheat bread. Man, we have that at least once a week. But on Friday, the last day of school for January, we will have cheese pizza, romaine salad, and mandarin, 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 Little orange slices, whatever. Anyway, that's your menu for this week. Thanks, Dylan. The lunches sound great. Now, on to our random fact of the week. January 27th, which is today, is National Bubble Wrap Appreciation Day. So be sure to appreciate that bubble wrap. All right, so how about we move on to Tiger Soup? Welcome to Tiger Soup. I'm Gabby. And I'm Adeline. Today on Tiger Soup, we are going to interview the principal, Mrs. Delaney. Let's get started. Is there anything new at Spencer Middle School? I think Tiger, Tiger TV is the newest thing that we have at Spencer Middle School. It's very exciting to see all the students working behind the scenes and seeing the finished product and then being able to share that with students and staff and anybody um, who wants to see that outside of school. What is happening at each grade level? Um, each grade level, so in sixth grade, currently um, sixth graders are learning um, and working with nature's fury. Um, science is doing a little bit with earthquakes. And social studies is working on researching countries and um, comparing that to Iowa, for example, their economics. In seventh grade, we have um, seventh grade language arts is working on dystopian novels. Um, they're working on family history and social studies. And in science, they're working on genetics. And then in eighth grade, I know we have um, in math, they're working on some mini golf hole problems and um, working with that. And then they're also um, starting their Holocaust intolerance unit. And those are just a few of the great things that are happening here at um, the middle school for academics. Are there any extracurricular activities we should know about? We have girls basketball that's recently started and we have uh, wrestling going on here at the middle school, so please come out and support the Tigers. What has been your favorite part at Spencer Middle School this year? My favorite part about being at Spencer Middle School is all the awesome kids that we have here. Um, they're very kind. Um, they do lots, many different things as far as student council and builders club. Um, we've got kids involved in mock trial and sporting events, and then kids are also um, share things that they do outside of school. 
So I think just being with kids and awesome teachers um, has been the highlight of my year so far. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Have a nice day. Bye. Thanks, girls. Are you excited about the upcoming activities? I am. Of course. How about we see how our Tigers activities are coming along? Hi, I'm Cole. And I'm Grant, and we welcome you back to the sports section of Tiger TV. The 7th and 8th grade girls basketball teams both had their season debut against Spirit Lake last Thursday. Our team got a chance to interview both Coach Scouten and Treeweiler. Well, who are you guys playing today? Spirit Lake. So, Coach Scouten, how do you think your team will play this season? I think my team is ready to go. Um, a lot of them have played basketball for a number of years, and they play well together, so I think we're ready to start. And what are your team's strengths? Again, my team has um, a number of them have played together for some years. Um, they know each other, um, what they can do on and off the court. So I think that's one of our primary strengths. And what do you believe are some things that your team could work on? You know, there's always room for improvement, especially at this level. Um, some of them haven't played basketball before, so we're just kind of working on fundamentals and going from there. All right, thank you. What do you think your team played today? Well, we were up against a really good Spirit Lake team today, and the team came out with a lots of enthusiasm and worked hard up and down the court. Um, what do you think your team did well today? Um, they ran up and down the court. They uh, moved the ball well. They, they saw what the Spirit Lake defense was, was doing, and they got into their offense sets quickly. And what are some things you think they could improve on? We uh, can't get beat up and uh, back up the court. We got to get back on defense. Uh, the girls, when they catch the ball, they need to be strong with the ball. Overall, boxing out too. Like we got to get, we can't let them get second or third uh, shots up. We have to box out the first time. Okay, thank you. Wrestling had their first meet of the year last Monday. Here are some words from head coach Gator after the meet. Tell us a little bit about the middle school wrestling program. Well, right now it's Coach Fullhart and myself. We have about 40 students, athletes, wrestling, and we have four girls competing this year, which is a new twist for Spencer Middle School. We hope to get more out in the future. How do you think the first meet went? It went okay. You know, we have uh, it's first competition date. We never, first time we have a lot of young kids who actually step on the mat for the first time. We've never wrestled before. Um, we have a lot, obviously a lot of areas to fix, some things to fix on, but we did some good things, some things pretty well good. in our first meet out. What are the areas of strength for your team? Well, right now, you know, with it being our first meet out of the year, I think right now we're just focusing on learning some technique and we're getting good at some technique. Uh, we have a team camaraderie. Everybody cheers for each other, helps each other out. Our kids, more experienced kids, are helping those younger kids along as well. So that's pretty good to see anytime you're coaching any sport is some help from others. Good. And what do you think your team needs to improve on? Uh, we need to get better on top and just having some confidence taking shots in a match and reacting to shots and things that happen in a match right now. And that's stuff that will come from the practice room. we just got to keep doing those things over and over again to get the feel for it. Good. For those who might be considering wrestling, what do you think makes wrestling such a great sport? Well, there's a lot of things that make wrestling a great sport. And we'll just start with something that's kind of prevalent right now is we all know the Super Bowl is coming up. And all the way throughout the playoffs, and those of you that watched any college football, every broadcast that you've seen has talked about offensive linemen, running backs, being wrestlers and making the correlation between that transitioning on the football field. But for me, I think it's a competitive. There's no other sport where it's one person against another person in anything, and it's, it's all settled right then and there. The winner, the loser, the outcome is determined right on the mat. And I think it just it's great for life lessons. You know, once you've... Dan Gable always said, once you've wrestled in life, everything is easy. And I believe that that be the case. Um, wrestling pushes you, it challenges you, it makes you think. And you got to overcome some defeats, but you also celebrate your victories as well. Thanks, Mr. Gator. You're welcome. Next is the sports quote of the week from Grant. LeBron James once said, if you can't be afraid to fail, it's the only way you can succeed. Thanks for watching, and good luck to the sports teams.
Callaghan from Fine Arts on Tiger TV. Today we're going to be interviewing our longest standing member of the Spencer Middle School Band, Mrs. Boyens. It's great to have you here, Mrs. V. Well, Wait. thank you. So why did you choose the songs the band is playing? Well, you always try to choose a variety of styles. So we're doing a slow one, and that one's uh, the bonsai tree, and it's got a little Japanese element to it, and it's a beautiful song. And then March Diabolique takes a traditional march and kind of turns it and makes it a little dark and mysterious. And then we also have just a fun, lively one called Arabian Dance. That's interesting. Are you excited for the Solo Ensemble Festival? I like that because it challenges you individually. And our musicians as a whole, everybody gains quite a bit um, from sixth grade all the way through eighth grade. And uh, so it's an important part, probably the most important part, but it also relies more on the students than ever before. Is everyone doing a solo this year? All our sixth graders are doing solos and then seventh and eighth graders get to choose so we have some doing an ensemble and some are doing both they're doing an ensemble and uh, a solo as well I've been wondering what's a day like in the life of a band teacher well we like noise in our world so that's good and it usually starts before school I'll have kids come in and do lessons early so then they don't have to miss anything during the day jazz band will start at 7 15 in the morning so we kick things off with a lot of energy and focus and then throughout the day it I like it because it's various levels sixth grade might follow you know some eighth graders coming in and then seventh graders so it's different levels of music and different styles when everybody walks in the door. So it's a lot of fun in the band room. What made you want to become a band teacher? Well, I always enjoyed band growing up. And the turning point for me, I was a counselor at an international music camp where I was working with fifth and sixth graders. And I just loved working with that age student. And so it kind of combined my two passions then. It was music and um, education and youth. That concludes our interview with Mrs. Boyens. Stay tuned for more fine arts news on Tiger TV. See you soon. Thanks, guys. Hey, Abby, anything going on in eighth grade? Well, if you mean activity one in our interactive notebook, Greek and Latin roots, I excel. OK, let's learn about some other things that are going on in eighth grade. Welcome to SMS Spotlight. In Mrs. Stowe's math classes, they are designing a miniature golf course and determining the short distance a ball can travel. Mr. Mullenberg's language arts classes are working on a Holocaust presentation. We interviewed Adeline Schulerman about her Holocaust presentation. Adeline, what did you like about this project? Well, um, first I chose Daku and I'm doing it with Emma Fassbender. And I like just learning interesting facts about it. Can you tell us some of those interesting facts? Um, well, first Daku is a concentration camp and it was the first one ever in Germany. And it was like the base they based everything off of it. So it was just basically an example of every other. In Mrs. Treeweller's Tay class, they are doing a Genius Hour project. Genius Hour is when students are given the opportunity to do a project that they are passionate about. Today I'm interviewing Abby Schmidt about her Genius Hour project. Abby, what's your inspiration for your project? Well, my project, I've just seen a bunch of problems on the news and then we're just trying to fix them with our project. How did you create this topic? Well, our teacher encouraged us to do something that we are very passionate about, so I just chose the first thing that came to my mind. Abby, what did you like about your project? I like that it's kind of just at your own pace, and you can just really do whatever you want with it. Thank you! Thanks, girls. 
And now for Addison's quote of the week. When life hands you lemons, you make lemonade or squirt them in someone's eyes. Either way. To be continued, continued tigers. tigers. Tiger.